Today, we are here to make history. Hundreds from all over the state gathered in Clewiston at Sugarland Park on Sunday to speak out against the discharges from nearby Lake Okeechobee that have plagued much of the state this summer. While the gathering was held near U.S. Sugar's Clewiston refinery, the tone of the rally remained peaceful. We wanted to uh, come here to Clewiston as a centralized location to bring a lot of different perspectives and opinions together to try and uh, be the catalyst for common solutions. Gulf Coast residents upset about water quality issues being created by Lake Okeechobee discharges into the Caloosahatchee River joined together with East Coast residents concerned about the Indian River Lagoon and St. Lucie Estuary. It's horrible. It makes me sad because all the animals that are dying, some of them are endangered, like the manatees. And I know that the beaches are the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen and now they're getting destroyed and the rivers used to look like the ocean, now they look like muck. The rally drew supporters from as far south as Broward County. We need to uh, take part in the demonstration against pollution in our lakes and rivers. Our water supply starts here in Lake Okeechobee and goes down to South Florida and this is where we drink from here. The rally featured environmental activists, elected officials, including the mayor of Clewiston, and representatives from several nonprofit organizations. Casey Trailer from the Guardians of Martin County called this the lost summer because of lost marine life, revenue, and enjoyment of the river due to the discharges. But what is not lost is our memory of those who would turn a blind eye on all that we have lost and choose to do nothing. For it is now necessary that we have a collaborative and coherent commitment to stop the loss and to st restore our cherished waters. We are all guardians of our rivers. While there is no easy or inexpensive solution to quickly end the Lake Okeechobee discharges, environmental expert Maggie Herchella offered several suggestions, including urging Congress to build storage and treatment areas to move the water south and pressing the state to buy land from Big Sugar. Herchella says don't let up on elected officials. You have to keep talking. You're going to need to talk loud. You're going to need to get together in big groups to demand action, every single one of you, and all your friends and relations. 